Hey everybody! In this video we're going to demystify what is a conversion factor. Let's take a look at the following problem. Marshall wants to know how many inches there are in seven feet. Which conversion factor should Marshall use? Alright, let's write down what we know. We're dealing with seven feet. Let's put that right here. And let's think about what we know about the word factor. Factor means you're going to multiply something. Now we're going to be choosing one of these to multiply with seven feet. If you have me as a teacher, then you know that we, we're going to want the final answer to be in inches. So that means that whatever we choose for a denominator has to be feet, and the top one has to be inches. And the reason why that would be true, I'm going to stick a one under this to make it a little more easy to see, is because we're going to need the feet to cancel out. Now let's take a look at the choices that even have feet listed as a denominator because the one we're going to choose is, is going to be an inches to feet. So here's an inches to feet. That's not inches to feet, so let's just cross that one out. This is not inches to feet. It's the other way around, so let's cross that one out. And this is not inches to feet, but what's interesting about this one is it has the same numbers in it. So let's talk about how do you choose between choice A in choice D. Because remember, one of these we have to pick to multiply with 7 and end up getting our answer in inches. And if we choose this one, let's try it, 12 inches for every 1 foot, then the feet would cancel out. This cancels out. And our answer would be in inches, which is what we want. If they actually wanted us to come up with the number of inches, then we would multiply 7 times 12 and get 84. But that's not what they wanted. They wanted you to choose which conversion factor. Now if you take a look at which one we have written here, that matches choice A and not choice D. Therefore you would pick that. 